Hello everyone, Kill cool found these dragons. So we uh, moved these plants back here. And we kind of filled this all in. So that way, because this likes to be a wind tunnel. So we filled it in, just the entrance. The back way is still kind of clean. I still got to cut off some of the banana leaves. But uh, this will block some of the wind. And then, these hanging pots, I got to put them down tomorrow. So these will go down on the ground. And then I moved a lot of the plants around back this way. I took all the seedling mangoes and put it behind the canopy. These are just the bigger plants that are sitting out here. And then I turned this avocado around. That way the heavy side is towards the wall. And then look, I found a, a bud for a Nicomisnoid. Didn't have that. Oh, I didn't see that until I turned it around. Blueberries. Big blueberries. Bananas. We cut them down last time. They're starting to grow back already. This avocado, I turned it around so the weight is on that side, but I'm thinking this big piece here might break, but it's okay. Some more blueberries and pomegranate. Probably in the ground, happily in the ground. It needs to come out, but if somebody wants a pomegranate, and I got one. You got weight on everything over here. Water's in the jugs. Water holding down. Let's tie down the tent. These guys are looking good here. Dragons I'm not too worried about. They can handle the... If they break, they break. You got these guys in the tub here. The firewood stacked up. And then I got all my seedling mangoes here. Some in the tubs there. These little dragons. That one I might bring up. Just to put up here. Because I know that's going to get a lot of wind down there. It's kind of heavy, so going to work on it. And the and the uh, little banana, truly tiny. Yeah, all my plants bunched in here together. Some are still in there from the last hurricane. So when you bunch them all in together, they have less room to move, so less breakage. We have Maya still on here. Got Maya, Ty Rosa, Tiny G, another Ty Rosa, and our two Kiwi Berry Noids are starting to change colors. So truly tiny. These are really heavy, so I might just leave them and just cut the leaves, or just see how they do, because they're on the hill on the backside here, so they don't get affected as bad. Because I think. And the way the wind's blowing, it's going to be coming from this direction. And then through that tunnel over there. Back this way. So these I'm not too worried about. And then we still have Yanez Physical Graffiti on here. So I'll probably pick those later today. So I did a lot of replanting. I took out this whole plant and we did the soil and the soil muck that's the soil right here all the muck and mud came down this way washed it all down got everything moved in here then some more stuff in here an ant on me <laughs> so yep but all this everything's kind of in here what's up Sasha what's up baby girl come on let's go it's okay yeah uh, yep Got bananas back here. Okay. 
So we might have to cut some of the leaves on these guys. But we already cut so many before. But they're they're still young. They can produce more. So we got everything all blocked up right here just to help with the wind. I may move some of these other trees right in the middle here too, but I think they're doing okay where they're at. Look at this Alice. This Alice is just beautiful. Huge leaves. Well, that's it for today. We'll keep you posted.